Right now at 6, continuing coverage of the major shakeup at the top leadership in the city of Portsmouth. I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shad. We broke the news at midday that city manager Lindy Pettis Patton has resigned, and later this afternoon, City Council fired City Attorney Solomon Ashby. It's just the latest bombshell headline involving ports of politics. Our continuing coverage starts with Regina Mobley. Regina? Well, Anita and Tom, on one side of town, residents are calling it another display of systemic racism. On another side of town, a Civic Link president told me, quote, good riddance regarding one resignation and one firing. Portsmouth in 2020 has been a year like no other, the pandemic, the protests, and a police department in turmoil. Today, the messy politics in Portsmouth reached a fever pitch. In a 4-3 vote and along color lines, City Council accepted the resignation of City Manager Lydia Pettis Patton as she faced termination. I would now entertain a motion to accept the uh, resignation uh, of uh, Dr. Lydia Pattis Patton. Then council fired city attorney Solomon Ashby. One source tells Wavy TV 10 Ashby failed to inform the city council when the FBI opened an investigation into the police department. I move to terminate Solomon H. Ashby Jr. as city attorney of the city of Portsmouth effective today. At the end of the socially safe meeting, there was a new city manager at the helm, Deputy Lavaris Pace, as the interim. Solomon Ashby is out, and Burl Stromberg is the new city manager. Mayor John Rowe describes today's actions as getting it right in Portsmouth. And putting it in that uh, vernacular is good. In fact, I use that term today in talking with our new uh, interims that we need to get the ship back on course, we need to get it stabilized. Vice Mayor Lisa Lucas Burke describes this as a good old boy network putting a thumb on black leadership in Portsmouth. Do you think there's a shadow government at work here? I think there is some backbone of a network of higher leadership that is guiding this whole force. Quick correction, Stromberg is the new acting city attorney. Now, remember the vice mayor was slapped with charges for allegedly calling for the ouster of uh, the police chief. Lucas Burke told me today she will recruit a citizen to do the same thing a citizen did to her a few weeks ago. Burke wants to throw the book at one or two of her colleagues who allegedly called for the firing of a manager-appointed employee, and that is a misdemeanor. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.